Hello, hello, hello. Morning, morning, morning. Up early, up early. Truck drivers rise early. We up open before the restaurants is. Uh, here in the city, anyway, if you're back home. But if you're over the road, you know, they accommodate truckers who early rise. Most of the truck stops, anyway. But, I'm out here. I got a topic of this discussion. Here local, I've run into some companies here that were, they're trucking companies. They hire you on and they pay weekly. But when you get to the company, they don't disclose to after you get you got to the company that you don't get paid for three weeks. So today is my third week. I still have nothing, no check. So I don't know if they got a certain time. Uh, it goes in or what today, but I'm going to check that out. But what I see here is uh, when I talked to him last week about my pay, how much I was supposed to get on today, she told me a certain amount that ain't sounding right. Now, they owe me from three weeks ago. So you owe me three weeks worth of a check. This company pays weekly. So technically, it should have just been one week in the hole. Then you get paid. But for some reason, these trucking companies here, local, this is the second one I've run into with this three weeks before you get paid. So you work in actually two weeks and then that third week, that Friday, you get your pay. So you actually work at 21 days before you get your real check. Now, they said they give you something. This company said they give you something. The week prior so you don't have to go that long but for some reason i didn't get it because i didn't start when they said i should have got it started uh, to get that so but when i'm looking at the calendar now i started on the i believe it was the first so that was two days for that week when i got this company uh, they gave me three pay dates and i was looking for a check last week friday and was puzzled why I didn't get there. Then she come up with this story. Talking about she didn't tell me that date. She said the, the, the 16th. The, the 20 something and the 30 something. No you didn't. You said the 9th. And see. And, and, and I'm leading to something with that. Because I'm going to get into a discussion about these people. Talking about I got a bad attitude. That's what causes your bad attitude. When you lie to somebody. And then you turn around and act like that ain't what the fuck you said. Oh, I can hear you real clear. And you better be careful, because next day, I might be recording your motherfucking ass. You turn around and tell me that shit, I'll play a recording on your motherfucking ass. And then you be sitting there looking stupid. You better be real careful. Because these people, with their lying, has gotten to the point where you need to record their ass. Okay. Now, if I started on the first, that tech, now she told me I should have got a piece of check for those two little days training on the ninth. That didn't happen. Okay, now keep count now. The ninth, I should have got those two days. But she said, she didn't tell me that. It's supposed to have been the 16th. And then the week of the ninth, I should have got uh, something from the company to tie me over until I get my regular check for the 16th. That didn't happen because they claim I didn't start by Wednesday. So that didn't happen. So now we're into the second week. Now, today is the 16th. Check my count. Ain't shit in there. Now, it's early in the morning. Might be too early. You know, so I have been with some companies where the shit don't you hit the bank to a certain time. You know, that happened in trucking. But this is local. Direct deposit is direct deposit. Once they send that shit, it's supposed to be in the bank. But the way I'm calculating, okay, if I started the week of the first, I should have got that check. Technically, if they was doing right with the week in the hole, I should have got that two-day check on the 9th. And then that full week of the ninth is what I should have got today. Now listen to me closely. I should have got those two days on the ninth. That full week of the ninth, I should have got today. But now mind you, they said the company was supposed to be giving me something on the ninth. The tide be over. So not only do you owe me, you owe me for those two days. That what you was going to give me on the ninth that I didn't start in time to get. Then you owe me the full week of the ninth on today. So, if I don't get all that, this company is holding a full check. And they're not supposed to. That's why I see they doing that three-week shit. 
And if you don't pay attention, that's exactly what's going on here. There's a whole check missing. And you, 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 you're off schedule. You pay weekly. And to catch me up with the pay, all those back weeks should be paid today. And now I'm going to see what I get. But this is the second company I've run into that's come up with this three-week shit. I said, what are you all? Are you bi-weekly employer here? No. You pay weekly. So why am I getting, got to wait three weeks for my first check if you're not bi-weekly? Only bi-weekly waits three weeks. Especially if you start on the first week of the payroll. Bi-weekly waits three weeks before they get their check. Because they got to work two weeks. Then the third week they get their check. I'm weekly. It's a week and a whole. But this is the second trucking company I found that is doing that. So, now that's going to lead me into my topic of the bad attitude. Everybody keep talking about uh, if you keep getting having troubles at the job and, and all this and this and blah, blah, that and getting fired and all this, then the problem might be me. Oh, really? That's what Chrysler said. Warren Truck Plant said, uh, you tried to say I was crazy. Implied that I was crazy, lied and forged documents trying to prove that I was crazy, and they were lying. So, that's where the bad attitude comes from. The bad attitude comes from me living in the state of Michigan, the city of Detroit, right here, with a major, big conglomerate auto manufacturing company, Warren Truck Plant, who put me off my job. Because of a co-worker lying, said I harassed him. Then the company come up with this shit talking about I was crazy. Then when I tried to get it in court, they dismissed my case. Swept this shit up under the rug. What they did to me and destroyed my family and my life, they need to be held accountable for. That's where the bad attitude come from. Every day I pass that goddamn plant here. Every day I live in this goddamn city. That shit happened. Over 13 years ago, I left that plant in 2004, December. And still to this day, they ain't acknowledged what they did. They have not atoned for what they did. They have not admitted what they did. They have not paid for what they did. That's where the bad attitude comes in at. But see, they made up a bunch of lies and got away with it. And since when they got away with it, all these other companies seem to have found out what Chrysler got away with so they've been doing it so when I get on these jobs they start doing that little Chrysler bullshit lying to me to get me to argue because now when you like like the payroll you tell me three dates when I'm supposed to be expecting a check okay I expected a check on the ninth. now I'm on the phone with you and you telling me a lie now talking about that ain't what you said now you didn't just call the conflict that's where the goddamn bad attitude comes in no the world needs people like me because I get in your ass for telling them kind of goddamn lies. You're not going to sit there in my motherfucking face and turn around and flip the script. Forget what the fuck you said or act like that ain't what the fuck you said. I know exactly what you said. As a matter of fact, I'm positive of what the fuck you said. But payroll wanted to lie to me, talk about that ain't what you said. You get paid on 16. So what she did was, because I wasn't going to take this job. I don't need to be taking no dirty shit like this, doing all this goddamn strenuous ass work. I come from luxury clean trucking. I don't need to be doing all this goddamn shit. But what she did was, by her lying to me and told me I was going to get a pay on the knife, she caused me to make the decision to go ahead and take the job. Since I said, oh, well, since I get something on the knife, okay, well, I do that then. I took the job. You prevented me from taking other employment where I would have actually got my check on the knife, listening to her lying ass at this company, and I didn't get no check on the knife. So you made me go three weeks with no goddamn money. That's some dirty dog, dirty trucking ass shit. And that shit happening local, right here in fucking Michigan. How do you get away with that goddamn shit? But then they talk about my bad attitude. Oh, I'm going to keep this attitude. My attitude is homegrown from goddamn Michigan. Warren Truck Plant. This attitude is embedded. Ain't going nowhere. As long as that plant is still standing and has not atoned and has not came, been brought to justice about what the fuck you did to me. You did this Warren Truck Plant. And every time I tell this story, I'm going to say you did this story. 
You did it, Warren Truck Platt. It was Warren Truck Platt. You did this. You the cause of all this. All this shit happening. You the cause of it, Warren Truck Platt. You are solely you, Warren Truck Plant, off a mound and eight mile road. You are the cause of all this motherfucking shit. And you know it. But have you tried to seek out justice? I know you done heard about me on on, on social media talking about this. You you aware of me. You are aware of me and what you did to me. But have you atoned for what you did? No, Warren Truck Plant. See, your dirty deed to me caused a ricochet effect that is happening in the world. See what you've done? You need to pay me for what the fuck you've done, Warren Truck Plant. And I'm not going to stop telling this story. Don't think you're going to make it to your grave or take it to your grave. And I don't get my damn justice. What you did was wrong. And because of what you did, all these companies I go to doing the same thing. They sit up and cause problems to get me to argue. Then you want to talk about I got a bad attitude. These motherfuckers are saying this shit ain't even fucking there. And then the ones is there, you don't even know what the fuck transpired before you even open your goddamn mouth. Talking about all you see is me arguing, but you don't know what the fuck I'm arguing about. You sit up, ain't nothing to get mad about. Yes, the fuck it is. Motherfucker, I was just lied to. How would you like being lied to, expecting something on a certain date, and then you don't fucking get it? They need to be held accountable for that goddamn shit. That's your job to do payroll. So you supposed to know when an employee is getting paid. That's not a mistake. And I'm tired of these people covering up their actions as fucking mistakes. That's not a motherfucking mistake. You did this shit on purpose, like all of them been doing. You know exactly what you was doing. You know exactly why you did it. You did it to cause what you was looking for to cause to happen. And it did. That's what they do. They sit up and lie to you. Get you in an argument. Then want to turn around to her. She got a bad attitude. No, you got the bad attitude because you sit up here and think you're going to keep taking advantage of me because of that Chrysler Warren truck shit. And you not. I don't have a bad attitude. I got an attitude that's homegrown. And it's, it's greatly needed around here. Because you want to know why? My attitude confronts liars. My attitude brings justice. My attitude tells the truth. Your attitude is passive. You don't do shit. You let these motherfuckers get away with doing any goddamn thing. You sit up there and hear they lying and go, oh, fucking well. And you let them get away with it for years. Until something tragic happened. Then you want to jump in on the case like you Captain Saver Day. And you ain't did a goddamn thing. And here I am. Been telling this shit for years. Now look at the state of the world now. Look at the state of the world. What if it's all because of a lie? Everything is... What if it's because of a lie? What if what's happening in the world is because of a lie? What if it's because of one person you lied on? You wouldn't think that. You wouldn't think one itty bitty nobody would have that kind of power. Would you? But what if? What if everything that's happening is because of a lie you told on somebody and it was the wrong person to tell a lie on? What if? That'd be some hell of a shit. Wouldn't it? It's something to think about. You ain't got to be political. You ain't got to be no no police officer. You ain't got to be captain or chief or nothing to have some type of power. You can be ordinary, like me. Ordinary person walk around here with the biggest power ever. The power of the truth. That's who I am. I'm the truth walking around here. This state of Michigan needs to come clean about what the fuck they did. What the fuck you caused and what the fuck you been doing. All these trucking companies been doing it over the road. Just all willy-nilly firing me. Why? Because of some whistleblower protected shit. All because I was complaining about shit you wasn't supposed to be doing in the first place. You had no authority to be firing me over that. And I got a right to get a goddamn attitude. I don't work for you. I'm a lease purchase. 
Now I'm com I'm back here local. And they doing the shit here local. I have never heard of weekly pay taking three weeks to get your first goddamn check. They always this three weeks check. You want me to go three weeks with no money. You always want me to go without money. Truckers get paid immediately. That's a fact. I don't know what the fuck going on here in Michigan, but it's some dirty ass shit. What if all this shit is because of a lie you told? Look at what's happening. Think back on the lies you told about me. Look at what's happening. And continue to happen. You want to know why? Because that's about the length of time you kept telling that lie. See, when you keep telling a lie over and over again, talking about it for years and years and years, this shit come back on you in the worst form. You've been around here destroying my life. Getting me in debt, causing me problems, lying, talking about I did this, I owe that. Even unemployment was doing it here. You did that shit when I was at Chrysler. You knew you were supposed to give me my unemployment, but you didn't. You did that shit at Chrysler. Unemployment been involved with this shit. And still doing the goddamn shit. They didn't want to keep you without money. So you can't get no attorney. Or if you call an attorney, they, they, these motherfuckers don't want to do shit for you. That's why Chrysler got away with the shit. See, it's going to take something tragic for them to, to go jump into action around here. They don't never jump into action beforehand. You hear all the legal shit I've been saying they've been doing. The wrong that they've been doing. But you didn't do nothing. When I was telling you about it. You thought I was going to take it to the grave. Oh, you ain't finna pay me my money. Oh, you ain't finna pay me my money. You think you ain't finna pay me my money. That's what you think. This story ain't over. As long as that plant is still standing, this shit ain't over. You're not going to get away with what the fuck you did to me. You got everybody in the goddamn United States getting away with that same shit that you got away with. And you need to pay for it, Warren Truck Plant. You need to pay me. And I want my goddamn money for what you did. You looking at somebody that you call crazy. Motherfucker, I ain't crazy. I never was crazy. But you was the craziest employer I ever worked for that did that goddamn shit. And I couldn't believe my union and Warren Truck Plant did that damn shit. You the cause of all my damn problems. You birthed this new attitude. And it ain't going no goddamn where. Because I couldn't believe my employer did this to me. And then all the other employers followed suit. I'm done. You're not going to keep doing this to me. So this is Dirty Trucking. Giving you the real dirty deed. Out here on the streets of Detroit. Waiting on this freight. Getting ready to go in. See when they be talking about a bad attitude. You better find out why that person got a bad attitude. Before you open your damn mouth. Because if you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You need to shut the fuck up. Because y'all some passive ass people. You let motherfuckers do anything to you. You sit up there and let people lie to you. You say okie doke. Okay. It's okay. And you don't do a motherfucking goddamn thing. I'm not that person. Like I said, one truck plant here has changed my whole attitude. You can say I got a bad attitude all you want. My attitude is the attitude you need to get. And this shit that's going on in the world today wouldn't even be fucking going on. Now you can keep living in denial all you want to. But this shit ain't over. You the cause of this shit happening in the world today. Because y'all and y'all motherfucking lies. Y'all some liars. You lie every damn day. You lie about every damn thing. I don't believe a word y'all say. I don't even believe this shit about the COVID-19. I don't believe a word you motherfucking saying. That's my take on it. You can like that or not. Because I don't believe you. Because you lie so goddamn much. Well, what's that story about the, the, one, the, the, the boy that cried wolf? United States and the cried wolf. Now you can't get no goddamn help. You want to know why? Because you done fucked over every damn body. And they tired of being fucked over. They done unleashed some shit on your ass. And now you can't get rid of it. Y'all in the cried wolf. Playing games with people's lives around here. Lying and shit. Ruining people's lives. And ain't being held accountable for it. But then you want to talk about the people. That's trying to seek justice. Talking about they got a bad attitude. No. I got the right attitude. 
I got the attitude you should have had years ago, and maybe none of this shit would be happening right now. If more people had my attitude, none of this shit would be going on right now. Shit would be running right. Shit would be going right. And these people wouldn't be getting away with all this ignorant ass bullshit that they getting away with. But no, we got people like y'all up here running shit. Passive ass. All you want is that money you can get out of this shit. You don't give a fuck about the little man. All you want is that little money that you can get for taking that little position you got. That's why all this shit going on today. Why you think COVID here? COVID-19 is here for a reason. Y'all done fucked over somebody. You done fucked up bad. And that motherfucker done got y'all ass back. That's point blank. COVID is here for a goddamn reason. You can't get rid of it. Every time you try to get rid of it, that motherfucker do something else. Make it a new strain. You done fucked over somebody real bad. And I suggest whoever that is you done fucked over, you best get that goddamn money together and pay that motherfucker. Tell him you fucking sorry. You ain't gonna never do this shit again. And could you put a stop to this? But until you do that, COVID ain't going no goddamn what it look like. You walking around here talking about masks and you got vaccines and shit. That shit ain't working. It ain't doing shit. You filling everybody head full of nonsense. Do this, do this, do this. We been listening to you for over a goddamn year. And this shit getting worse here in Michigan. I wouldn't have listened to you in the first. In my eyes, you sound just like Chrysler Warren Truck Plant when they said that shit about me. Told the biggest lie ever and got away with that shit. Y'all some lying asses here in Michigan. This state just lies and fuck over people all the damn time and get away with it. But then when I get out and turn around, I get comments about you got a bad attitude. No, I ain't got a bad attitude. I got the right attitude. I got the attitude you should have had. Maybe none of this shit would be going on. Maybe we need to switch positions. Maybe I need to be running shit. You need to be standing out here catching this motherfucking goddamn bus. That's what you need to do. Well, this dirty trucking out here giving you an early morning take on what's going on out here. My opinions on some things and some issues and why these issues is going on. Most don't know. Or you didn't heard the story, but you didn't believe the story because everybody thought that story was fake. Well, what I said happened to me at Warren Trump Plan. No, that shit wasn't fake. That motherfucker did do that shit. He told that lie on me, got me put off my goddamn job, told everybody I was crazy, said I was harassing him, and I wasn't doing shit. That motherfucker shit was true. That happened right here at one truck plant right here on Mound and Eight Mile Road. I used to be an employee there five fucking years, and a co-worker friend told the most heinous lie on me. And started all this motherfucking shit. But when I think back to all the lies that was told, I'm looking at all the shit happening in the world today. It's similar to the lies that were told on me in that goddamn plant. So now who crazy? Now what if all this shit is because you fucked over the wrong one, you lied on the wrong one, and that motherfucker had more power than you thought they did and caused all this goddamn shit. You better be careful who you fuck with around here. Because that motherfucker to unleash some shit on y'all ass that you can't fucking get rid of. I think you better go ahead and apologize, atone, get that motherfucker their money. And you better do right by me. Because I ain't going to stop this shit until you do right by me. Ain't none of this shit going to stop. So this dirty trucking out here waiting on this freight. Doing an early morning video. Ta-ta, y'all. As always, be safe out there. Keep your eyes open, hands on the steering wheel, no distracted driving. Drive safe. Dirty trucking out.